Hey there fellows, Buddy Spike here. I wanted to test how practical would be a circular runway. I did not know how to make one so I found a free add-on that has a circular runway. So I thought even if I succeed in landing let's say at 747, I would not know how large their diameter have to be in order for the runway to work. So what I did was place A380 on the runway, take a screenshot to get a top view of the runway, then scale the runway with respect to 80 meter wingspan of Airbus A380. This way I managed to find out that the diameter of the runway is approximately 4189 meters. To get things into perspective, LAX runway is 3318 meters. So what I'm going to do is test this runway by landing different aircrafts and see what results I get. So stay tuned for the video fellas. Alright, Bonanza single engine propeller aircraft. I thought this is the one I would try first. So we all know the result. It's going to land pretty easily. And I'm just going to have a casual takeoff and see how it looks like with the small aircraft and then slowly I'll I'll increase the size of the aircraft don't worry about it and it's an easy touchdown easy touchdown okay we have sun in the eye but uh we're, we're turning with the we're turning with the runway so it's pretty pretty easy and you just full throttle and you can easily take off because the runway is so wide that you, you got no problem whatsoever and you have a take off. Okay, now going to the next aircraft. Alright, Beechcraft King Air, twin engine propeller aircraft. This should be also fairly easy. So I'm just gonna deploy landing flaps and landing gear. Okay okay this this is also very easy just got myself aligned with the runway with a little bit of rudder and at about 120 knots I think I should uh, I should have my speed a lot lower before I touch down because uh, right now this aircraft can land at about 100 90 100 knots so with a little bit of rudder input I'm pretty much following the runway nice and easy and touchdown beautiful so I'm assuming takeoff should also be not a problem going full throttle flaps to takeoff position okay this is a little problem you see this bump yeah this this bump is a little annoying I don't know why they have when why they have this so I think with the bigger aircraft I'm gonna have to avoid this bump so and we have takeoff no problem Alright, this is free mod I downloaded quite a while ago. Douglas C-47 Skytrain. Really beautiful aircraft with even uh, interior modeled. Excellent, excellent aircraft. So, let's have the flaps to landing position and gears down. This aircraft can land at about uh, 80, 90 knots really slow speed so at slow speeds I can easily have the rudder control and follow the runway and touchdown touchdown at 80 knots so pull up and use wheel brakes if I use wheel brakes without pulling up, oh boy, it's actually <laughs> pulling up. If I use the wheel brakes without pulling up, the plane wants to dive down. The plane wants to topple over and hit the hit the ground. So this was fairly easy. Let me let me see if I can take off. Lambs at takeoff position and full throttle. All right, rotating, and we have liftoff. Nicely done, very easy. All right, moving on to the next aircraft. All right, it's time for jet engines now, and we have Cessna Citation, 
and I believe this aircraft should also have not many problems landing on this landing on this circular runway. So flaps at landing position and gears down. So just gonna follow the runway. And this is where the bumps are, so I'm just gonna avoid the bumps. I think at the start of the runway I can find I can see these bumps. Which I hope the developer would fix this because uh, it kind of defeats the purpose. Okay, so at about 100 knots, I can easily follow the runway, and with a little bit of yaw, I can have a nice and smooth touchdown. And after the touchdown, I can still follow the runway. Beautiful. So just going to accelerate to full throttle and try to take off. Flaps at take off. And 120 knots and above, rotating. Come on now. Alright. Alright, we're up. Flaps up. Landing gears up. Nice and easy. Alright, moving on to the next aircraft. Alright, so I thought why not try some fighter jets. And I'm just going to descend and try to land this thing. The thing is, this aircraft needs quite a long runway to stop itself. So I think the test is starting to get a bit harder now. Alright, landing gears down. Okay, at about uh, 200, about 300 knots, which is really high for this aircraft. So I'm gonna use, gonna use air brakes to slow me down. All right, now I have started to slow down. As long as I stay away from those bumps, I should be good. Okay, with the air brakes, the speed really started to cut off, and. Uh, I don't need to bank that much, you can see. Air brakes in. At 140 knots, I'm about to touch down. Come on now, nice and easy. And touch down. Not too shabby. Whoa, 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 okay. Alright, you need to have a really smooth rudder control or the plane goes crazy. Okay. So, I'm just going to full afterburner and flaps to take off and see if I can take off. Alright, about 200 knots, I should be able to take off and we're out. Flaps up, I mean, landing gears up. Alright, we're good. So, about four kilometer diameter of this circular runway is still good enough for a fighter jet. Let's go for a little bigger plane. So right now about 450 knots and with a high bank angle following the runway. So I'm going to prepare for landing with wings unfolding and flaps down. And I think I should also use a little bit of air brakes and landing gears down. Okay, air brakes in. Okay, I'm at 119 knots and the plane wants to land. Oh boy. Gotta decrease the roll and start using the rudder. Ho ho ho. Alright, it's a landing so far. And I am starting to. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm still on the runway. Yes, I'm still on the runway. And I would say this is a successful landing. Whoa. Okay. Barely successful landing. This this aircraft was... Uh, this aircraft really needed high speed to land. Alright, let's have flaps at takeoff and full throttle. I had afterburners working earlier. I don't know why they're not working now. And... Takeoff. Landing gears up. And we're good. Not too bad. Alright guys, Airbus A320. 
I am starting to feel like this is starting to get difficult. But let's see how it goes. I'll try my best to have a landing as efficient as possible. The thing is, I cannot roll the aircraft while I'm near the ground. Otherwise, I'll hit the hit the engines on the runway, which we definitely don't want. As long as I'm a little bit above the runway, I can roll as much as I want. So only when I have desired speed, I can lower down and land while applying the reasonable yaw. Okay, landing flaps are down and landing gear is down. Okay, I'm starting to use yaw a little more than the roll. Okay, this is this is working out so f oh boy, I my yaw is not so stable. Come on, big guy. Come on, my descent rate oh boy is a lot more than it should be okay <laughs> okay that was a bounce that was a bounce oh my goodness oh, oh boy the the yaw is so hard to control at the moment you know what i think i think i can do this hold on Beautiful touchdown. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, you see you see it was my first try, so cut me some slack. Okay, so at ninety knots I can have a stable alright, so at eighty to ninety knots I can have stability following the runway. Okay, the question is can we take off? So flaps at takeoff position and full throttle. Hundred knots, hundred and ten knots, hundred and twenty, and rotating, and wheels are off the ground, so no no difficulties whatsoever. Landing gears up, flaps up. So. Okay, takeoff was fairly simple and easy for the Airbus A320. So guys, this is C-17 Globemaster the third, and uh, this is a this is a mod. This is FSX converted plane, so it's not going to be as accurate as you would hope. But uh, I wanted to try it, so here it goes. All right, flaps at landing position and landing gears down. I really like the landing gear animation for this aircraft. Beautiful. Okay, and as you can see, the rudder for this aircraft is actually segmented, which I've only seen for two planes until now. Okay, my speed is... Uh, it seems I'm not able to follow the run with that correctly but as I've decreased the speed I'm starting to get inside line now things are more controlled my descent rate is good and I'm able to follow the run with quite well oh my god a bump is about to I'm about to hit the bump. You can, you can see. Um, I hope I land this aircraft before hitting the freaking bump. Oh my god, I just had a touchdown, but I'm not able to yaw that much. Okay, reverse thrust is active. Parking brakes on. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, okay. You know what? With a little improvement, I think I can have a better landing. But the question is can you take off this aircraft? From the runway. Let me let me see it. All right, the engines are spooling up. Come on now, come on, big guy. At about uh, 120 knots. Okay, now I'm not able to yaw as much as I need to in order to follow the runway. So I'm gonna pull up and hope for the best. And we are off.
Land leaders up, flaps up. Okay, for this aircraft, it was not that simple. It kind of went off the runway, but I feel like my performance wasn't that good as well. So let's just jump to the next plane. So guys, this is it. The moment we've been all waiting for, Boeing 747, the Queen of Skies. I think uh, this aircraft should be the toughest one. So with this aircraft, we should have some better idea of the visibility of the circular runway. So what do you think guys? What do you think of this experiment? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, I seem to be pretty much in control of the aircraft right now. I'm pretty much lined up in the runway. So landing gear is down. Okay, at about 190 knots. Okay, at about 190 knots, I should be able to land this aircraft. All right, I seem to be pretty much aligned. And come on, big guy. Oh wait, I cannot. I cannot have a roll, otherwise the engines will hit the hit the runway. Oh boy, I gotta I gotta use the rudder. But at low speeds, it's really ho ho ho. Okay, oh boy, thing things are starting to get funky. Come on now, come on. Got to reduce throttle. I cannot have any roll whatsoever. Oh come on, big guy. Come on now. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm at full rudder and engines have hit the ground and I just I just have a touchdown and, and bounce okay <laughs> my engines were pretty much in the ground yeah this is okay and because of the bump I'm right back in the air yeah this 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 was just wrong this was bad okay attempt number two landing gears down come on big guy do not disappoint Oh boy. And Okay, now I hit the hit the other engine. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Remember no roll, just rudder and whoa. Okay. Okay. This this is this is just plane is going nuts. And I have a touchdown, but it's it's a mess. It's a real mess. Okay, I think I think uh, this is the best I got for this aircraft. You know what? Uh, all I can do right now is just test whether or not you could take off. So flap set, take off, and full throttle. Okay, at the ground, uh, even about even at about 100 knots, I'm able to have a good turning rate. So uh, I think uh, takeoff seems pretty easy for this aircraft. Pretty easy. Rotating and we have liftoff. Hmm. Takeoff is fairly simple. It's just that landing at slow speed at full yaw, the plane just goes crazy. I don't know if it is the physics thing, or, or I don't know. Even in real life, the plane would do the same. I don't know. But uh, but for now. At full yaw, this plane goes crazy at low speeds. So, landing at this airport safely with a 747 currently with this with this mod seems uh, seems not a good option. And if you think I'm going too far with the craziness of this sim, do let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Buddy Spike, out.